you know that your mouth can disqualify you from entering into what God has for you? There have been relationships that have been destroyed because of people's mouths. There have been jobs that have been lost because of people's mouths. And it's important for you and I as people of God to understand the, the severity of the words of our mouth. Do you understand how far God is into 2024? <laughs> Here we are setting in 2023 and God is already in our 2024. Just like they were in the wilderness, but God was already producing in the promised land. And all he was trying to get them to do was walk into and occupy. And all he wants you to do over these next few months is to walk in and occupy. You're going to step into things in 2024 that you've dreamed about that's already created. You're going to step into things in 2024 that's waiting for your arrival. There are people that are going to say to you, you are an answer to my prayer. I'm here to tell you today that God has already laid out 2024 for you. He's laid out some connections for you. He's put his finger on some people for you. He's got some doors he wants you to walk through. It's already laid out for you. But please hear me. These next seven weeks, don't become such a toxic mouth that God can't take you into it. Because I'm here to tell you that even though God has it for you, you can miss it. God wants you. God wants you to go into what he has promised you. The devil can't stop you when you get your mouth in line with God's word. That you stand in the face of impossibilities and you declare that all things are possible to him that believe. That when they tell you it's not going to happen, you declare the word of God that if God be for me, he's more than the whole world that can be against me. Child of God, you've got to start declaring and saying some things and not let your mouth disqualify you. You're giving the devil way too much credit. You're giving him way too much credit because you don't want to accept responsibility for your own mouth. I want everything God has for me. I said, I want everything that God has for me. And I realize that I've got to talk right, I've got to walk right, and I've got to be right to get it.